hello once again greetings we've been learning to do a number of things first we learned how to create a farm household with the head of household then we learned how to add a member of the household then adding the farm details and now we just learned how to create a plot but remember all these things we have been doing in the offline mode so uh, this data is not yet synchronized in the system and today we need to learn now what exactly we do to assure that this data is uploaded into the system because we have been doing this on the ESS that our data connection is um, is bad or the internet connection is bad we've been doing most of this work in the field so now we get back to office and we need to see what we have been doing or what we have been creating so ideally as i told you you come and click here on this button on the top left corner and then go on offline mode and turn it off and then uh, the data is synchronizing as you see this the data is trying to synchronize into the system and then when it is complete it should be able to show you a message that synchronization has been successfully finished and you click ok so what did we create at this point we can be able to view what we created this data has now been uploaded into the Baker Farmer Rap database and this member is now a member in the can actually appear in the dashboard of the Baker Farmer Rap which I'll be showing you later but most importantly here is that now uh, as this person is registered and a member this is the farm we are using the household which is Moasa family farm when you click on it and you see cocoa there are no plots but here you can be able to see the location is even that the total surface area is five acres total registered surface area is five hectares i think this is something that needs to be edited uh, the units need to be consistent yeah but when you go to the coffee section you have one plot which is able to give you 1,800 kilograms of red cherry per hectare and um, look at um, when you go and uh, total registered surface area 5 hectares it's giving you an error message because we have acres and we have hectares so this is sort of an error message but when you go here and click details this is the exact polygon that we were able to collect this is the gps coordinates so this is the size of our coffee plot that we actually have and you can be able to view it precisely so this is a state light image and that's what i told you that in the face of the new edur and other legislations that are against deforestation they can be able to now look at this state light image of course there are improved state lights that will show you a precise image they take the gps polygons and they put them into the database then it will bring an exact picture with the latitude and longitudes of your farm and they will look at what has been happening in the area for the last five years they can see if deforestation has taken place or if no deforestation has not taken place so this is how exactly you do after working in the offline mode and then you will be able to go so this is the plot you could still click here on C plot and you see actually the GPS polygons uh, which is which are here and you see the details of the coffee plot and whatever is said about it thank you very much again I will catch up with you in the next video which is about how to register a delivery now that we have created a plot 
and we assume that the farmer is bringing in their coffee, how do we register the coffee delivery that they are bringing maybe to the producer organization or that they are delivering and then we will be able to proceed from there. Thank you. See you once again. Again, feel free to email me via brian at progresso.nl or you can send your queries regarding Beiko to Beiko at progresso.nl. My WhatsApp number is still active to answer some of your queries. Plus 256 751 80 